we will talk about continuity differentiability when do you see a function is continuous the concept is very simple if you are able to draw the graph of the given function without lifting your hand then the function is continuous a simple example is y is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to x square y is equal to mx plus c is a straight line y is equal to x square is a parabola so these are two simple continuous functions for example y is equal to sin x y is equal to cos x are two examples of continuous functions and of course sin x and cos x are periodic but they are odd and even functions respectively coming back tan x cot x secant x cosecant x these are the four very important discontinuous functions i hope st dear students you are aware of discontinuity discontinuity of these four functions however remember this dear students test of continuity is almost based on the concept of limits i will be introducing new shortcut a new graph or a new method every often and whenever i am taking a new problem look at this question now the question is like this f of x is equal to mod log of mod x then option a f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 0 option b is 1 1 option c is periodic and option d is odd function dear students i have taken this problem just to introduce a few words to you dear students i have taken this problem just to introduce few familiar words to you and also to explain the graph of f of x and mod of f of x look at this dear students this is y axis and this is x axis you are you are asked to draw the graph of log of mod x first let us learn to draw the graph of log x so it is a familiar thing to you if i am not wrong you have studied this several times in physics mathematics and all this is the graph of log x i don't think you have a doubt in this so forget about external mod how to draw the graph of log of mod x f of x is given f of mod x is very very simple just draw the graph whichever is towards the right side of y axis as it is you have drawn this got it now this is actually this is log x and you need log of mod x you is what you expect so log of mod x is very simple retain the part of the graph whichever is towards right right side of y axis write its replica over y axis towards left side of y axis that means to say this is the graph of log of mod x now how to draw the graph of mod of log of mod x that means to say how to draw the graph of modulus of this it is very simple retain the part of the graph whichever is above x axis write the replica of the part of the graph whichever is below x axis that's what you have to do here that means to say observe carefully once again i am drawing it see this is this is actually log of mod x this just now i have explained you this right retain the part of the graph which is above x axis got it i have retained it step number 1 step number 2 is just draw the replica of the graph whichever is below x axis above the x axis that means to say you draw the replica of this so this is mod of log of mod x this is mod of log of mod x got it now looking at this dear students let us start answering the question f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 0 is very much true you can see at this particular point at this particular point function is not continuous why it is not continuous the reason is very simple you can see the graph the graph is like this and it takes break here there is a break exactly when x is equal to 0 log 0 tends to minus infinity right whereas mod log 0 tends to plus infinity however y axis this y axis is called as asymptote to the graph 
What do you mean by the word asymptote? A line which meets the curve at infinity is called as an asymptote. Here, y-axis is the asymptote to the graph. Definitely, f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 0. So, my job is over. I got the answer. Option A is correct. Then I did not have to talk about B, C and D, but I have taken this problem intentionally to introduce few important concepts. Look at this. f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 0 is good. Can we talk about differentiability using this graph? Yes, we can. What is that? The function is not differentiable at these two points. Practically, graphically speaking, wherever you have a sharp edge, at those points function is not differentiable. Therefore, at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1, function is not differentiable. Of course, it is not there in the answer, no need to worry, but still. How did you say that this is 1 or 1 comma 0? It is very simple. Log x meets x axis at 1 because log 1 is 0. And similarly, log mod x meets x axis at minus 1 and 1 both because log of mod of minus 1 is log 1 and log 1 is 0. Function is not differentiable at x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1. Are those are the only two points where the function is not differentiable? No, there is one more point. What is that? When x is equal to 0 also function is not differentiable because function is not continuous at x is equal to 0. Mod of log of mod x is x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0. Very important. Coming to the next part. Is it 1, 1? No, it is not 1, 1. What is the reason? Just draw a line parallel to x axis. A line parallel to x axis meets the graph at more than one point. Therefore, the function is not 1, 1. It is definitely many, 1. Speciality of many one functions is a line drawn parallel to x axis definitely meet at least at more than one point or at least two points. So, therefore, it is not 1 1. Is it periodic? What is what do you mean by the word periodic? Periodic functions are those functions which repeat itself. Very good example is fractional part of x, sin x, cos x, tan x, mod sin x, mod cos x, e power fractional part of x. Like this, there are many periodic functions. Periodic functions are those functions which are which are going to repeat after a certain interval. So, definitely it is not periodic. It is not 1 1. It is an odd function. What do you mean by the word odd function? Odd function means f of minus x is minus f of x. It is an odd function. Sin of minus x is minus sin x, odd function. Tan of minus x is minus tan x, odd function f of x is equal to x because f of minus x is minus x is there is also that is also odd function. Then what is even function? If f of minus x is f of x then the function is even. Graphically speaking if y axis acts as a mirror for the given graph then it is an even function. A very good example is cos x. Cos x is an even function the reason is if you draw the graph of cos x y axis acts as a mirror. Mod sin x is an even function and cos x is an even function. Like this there are many even functions and very good example for the even function is this. See here exactly y axis, Mr. y axis is dividing this part, this graph into two equal parts. So, very importantly you should know the graph of drawing the, you should understand the graph of log of mod of log x, that is one thing and apart from that you must be able to understand these words. I hope dear students you have got sufficient information towards odd function, even function, one one, many one, periodic function, non-periodic functions and all. Now let us move on to the next set of problems. Mm -hmm.